Uh, welcome, everybody. Thank you very, very much uh, for coming. It means a lot to us. Um, it's like your spirit lifts us. I think uh, by your presence here and all our viewers, it's like crowdsourcing spirit, if, if we can coin a term. Uh, and since this is a conclave about youth, crowdsourcing is the way to go. You don't have to be indebted to anybody. The entire country supports you and gives you the spirit to fight on. I stand here uh, to say one particular thing, that in NDTV and our entire network, I would honestly say NDTV India makes us most proud. This is the one channel that stands out amongst a crowd of, uh, uh, well, I wouldn't call them news channels, uh, sensational entertainment, news entertainment channels. Uh, and to stick to the journalism that NDTV India has done and is continuing to do is really a wonderful, wonderful achievement. And here's one person, and there are many others with us. The journalism of NDTV India is the finest journalism. It's honest journalism. And this is the kind of journalism any democracy really needs. So what is, what is perceived in India today, in the current, to be a successful channel? You have to do three things to be successful, especially uh, in the current uh, last few years. And I wouldn't say just in the last three years, I'd say in the last five, seven years since uh, tabloid journalism became popular. There are three things. The first one, and we need to decide, should we be doing these three things to be perceived to be successful? We think we are successful. We are happy that we are going the path of The Economist or The New York Times or uh, The Washington Post, great uh, examples of global journalism. And we want to be like that in India. But to be seen in India to be successful, these three things, and I want to ask you, should we do these three things? One, the first thing you must learn to be successful is how to fiddle TRPs. There are consultants all over the country ready to help you. It is the best return any business could ever get. You pay a consultant 20 crores around the country, and you'll, TRPs will go up enough to give you a return of 100 crores in advertising revenue. So 20 crore investment, terribly dishonest if you ask me, but you know it's called managing the environment. Are this is India, you have to manage the environment. So 20 crore investment gives you 100 crore ad revenue. Should we be doing that? I see everybody shaking their head. No, we will never do that. We will never pay these consultants. Because if you do that, how can you, if you are a fiddler, how can you criticize anybody of being corrupt? So we reject the first ingredient of uh, what is considered success. Now, bark is a great organization, but it needs more powers. It can't do anything to control uh, broadcasters who fiddle. It's tried, it's taken them to court, they've got to stay, and it, life carries on. So Bach, excellent uh, establishment, but needs power to stop people from fiddling TRPs and make it more credible. Secondly, the second ingredient to be um, successful is you've got to be sensationalist. You can't be, you know, honest and straightforward and truthful. That, that's not success. Success these days is just shout and scream and make a noise and um, frankly exaggerate any little thing into uh, dishonest proportions. Should we do that? It's easy to do. He would love to do it. <laughs> No, we will not do that. We will not go tabloid, we will not go sensational, and we will not follow the second rule of being successful. And what's the third rule? 
The third rule which you must follow to be really successful these days is to praise the authorities, praise everybody. Does a democracy need that? Is that what the role of the media is in a democracy? We need, we have a commitment to our viewers. We have a commitment to, let's not be too pompous, but to history. We have, what are we doing here if we are going to be an, uh, part of an establishment that collapses? If we are uncritical, if we are not the eyes and ears of the people, we are your eyes and ears. Should we stop doing that? Should we become like those three monkeys and just say, oh, nothing's wrong, everything's fantastic, everything that the authority does is fantastic? I think that would be terrible for our country. So, if you ask me, the three aspects of being successful today goes against our democracy. And the one thing we are really proud of in India is our fabulous democracy. And uh, we must cherish it, and as media people, we must fight for it. And we, and NDTV will not fall for these three new criteria. And I thank you all once again for outsourcing your spirit to us just by being here and uh, watching us. And I can't tell you how many people come up to all of us at airports, at, on the roads, and say, we watch you, carry on, we are with you. And that gives us a huge amount of support. And let me tell you, finally, that it is the youth mostly that come up to us, the young people in this country. That is our hope. They are the strength of this country. And uh, OK, what we have left them is a democracy, but nothing much else. We give them lovely pollution. We have given them uh, a lawless, corrupt society. Uh, but the youth in India are different. And that's why this whole con conclave is about the youth, because you are our hope. And for you, we will not succumb to those three criteria of being successful. Thank you very much once again for being with us. Thank you.